Boy, I tell you what, I'm really liking this FanQuest Envoy messenger bag. It's kind of a tactical messenger bag. And uh, I've started using it for just carrying my uh, gear that I'm going to be testing and my cameras and tripod and all that kind of stuff. Some extra water and whatnot out to the field with me when I come out and do these videos. And uh, I'm really liking it so far. It's actually got a lot of really cool features. This is a really cool bag. I have been playing with it for a couple of weeks now, and I have actually kind of started to use it as my bag for uh, carrying video equipment and uh, test and evaluation gear and stuff like that out into the field, and it really works pretty awesome. Um, I, I, I will say that I think that the name for this bag should actually be the, if you're only gonna buy one bag, one tactical type bag buy this bag <laughs> because it's actually extremely uh, versatile you can use it for a ton of different things um, it can be used for your typical type messenger bag you know you could use it for back and forth going to work carrying a laptop and computer parts and stuff like that or it could be used as a tactical range bag it could be used as a get home bag it could be used as I mean, you know, vehicle survival kit. It could do all kinds of different things that you could use with this bag. It actually holds a ton of stuff, and uh, I've just been really impressed with it. One of the coolest features that I'll get right into here is the quick access on the top. This is one of the really cool features about this bag. Is this? It just, as you can see, you can look in here, and it just gives you quick access without having to open up the top flap. So, speaking of the top flap, we'll go ahead and open this up. As you can see, I've got this thing jam-packed full of stuff. Just to give you an idea of the kind of the amount of gear that it can actually hold, um, this isn't this isn't set up right now uh, to be any one particular type of bag or another. I'm really just put a bunch of stuff in here because I wanted to let you guys kind of see how many different pockets it has. You know how it can be organized in different ways and all that kind of stuff to give you kind of a good review of the bag. So we'll start on the um, inside here, I guess. Uh, we'll just kind of get right into it. Back here, um, I've got a netbook laptop. This, this bag is actually large enough uh, in the interior compartment of the drop-in organizer here to be able to hold a full 15-inch uh, laptop. So like I said, it would be very good for just going back and forth to work and those kind of things as like a, uh, like a almost tactical type of briefcase, for lack of a better word. Uh, now the VanQuest, all the VanQuest items are uh, designed in the United States and they do outsource for the manufacturing. Um, but I'll tell you that the quality on this is outstanding. I mean, it's all, you know, it's got double stitched, it's YKK zippers, uh, it is a thousand denier uh, Cordura nylon, and it does have the DuPont Teflon coating over it as well for waterproofness and that kind of stuff. It added, added, uh, durability and it's covered as you can see all over the place in the uh, Molly and Pals webbing so you can put Molly attachments on there um, you know you can you can add just about anything you want around the side of this thing um, so it's really just laid out really awesome like that because you can pretty much customize it however you want so if we go on uh, in here what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pull out the insert. So this this is the insert here, and it's made to be able. It's got some hook and loop stuff on the inside, and we'll just start out with this. And basically, this is a padded sides, so that you could use it for like I've got here. I've got some uh, camera equipment in here. I've also got some some you know 30 round magazines. You can see how nicely they fit in there. Got a couple of knives and uh, water filter. Got a couple boxes of ammo down there as well. And the interior portions of this is made of 210 denier uh, ripstop uh, Cordura nylon. So that's pretty cool. Got even side panels in here. Um, stick a book or something like that in there. And as you can see down inside here, it's got two different strips of um, the softer side of the Velcro 
and you, they do have multiple accessories that are available for that. Um, CCDW, CCW uh, holsters and those kinds of things as well. Got another one on this side. Like I said, it's got the paracord pulls on the YKK zippers. Um, just built really well. Got the attachments here so you could use the uh, carry strap with this alone if you wanted to. Got another one on this side obviously. And then we've got the the hard side of the Velcro on this side here and that matches up with the Velcro down inside of the bag here. So let's move this over. Now as you can see on the inside it's all very much high visibility you can kind of see where the pockets are and all that kind of stuff. You've got a full um, laptop style pocket back here. Um, you've got another deep pocket here. Just throw a road flare in there. This is another nice deep pocket. And again, for custom, all kinds of customization, you've got another hook and loop field down here. Then in on this side, if you can see that, you've got some pleated pockets that'll open up quite wide right here. And then I've got another one. I've got a first aid kit down in there. I don't know if I have anything in there. No, I don't have anything in there. And those actually, those pleated pockets are very nice because they fold back and, and they're, they're out of the way once they're folded up and they don't, they don't get in the way of anything. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. I think there's over 20, there's over 20 pockets uh, on this, this bag itself here. Got another one right here. It's got a knife and a flashlight, a baton down in there. Um, I mean, plenty big enough to put, you know, all different kinds of stuff. Another, got a strobe light, Altoids 10, down on that one. Another hook and loop closure, got some hand warmers. Got your uh, uh, pin pockets or, or a sharpener, you know, that you can put there. Another pleated pocket here. Um, just got a small pistol cleaning kit in there. Again, like I said, this could be used in a tactical setting for a, just a, a range bag. It's really the perfect size for a range bag, um, you know, or you can use it for laptops and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay, um, let's flip this over. Take a look at the top section here. Again, pockets on each side. A little emergency blanket in there. Okay, so you get the idea with that. Again, a hook and loop field here on the actual PALS webbing, which that's kind of nice. You can throw on different patches and stuff like that. Um, again, I showed you the, the easy access from the top. We've got two handles here, and they've got a neoprene kind of cushioned uh, handle around it. And on the back here, we've got a um, luggage strap holder. You can fold the, the luggage strap up, you know, the carry case, and, or the carry strap and throw it up in there. And then you've got a dedicated uh, CCW compartment as well. So, got the Glock 23 in there, and then I've got several magazines down in here. And you can get the, um, you can get the universal CCW uh, holsters for that as well. Um, on the strap, it's actually uh, very comfortable. It's got a soft padded strap and then it does have a kind of a rubberized section in the middle to keep it from sliding around too much. Um, they are attached with your hook and loop connectors there. And the connectors got, it's got heavy duty uh, plastic hardware on here. Um, now another great thing about this bag is the end pockets. The end pockets are adjustable to be able to fit a full, you know, one liter Nalgene bottle. It fits down in there nicely uh, without any issues at all. It actually has a little bit of extra room. You can cinch that up at the top with these shock cords. Um, or, and then you can also, it has the built in uh, nylon tension straps as well. So you can kind of really hold that in there nice and tight. Or, if, like on this other side, if you have a smaller water bottle, 
this is just a 27 ounce stainless steel water bottle that you want to put in there you can put that in there and adjust it down too so it's not all loose and everything like that which I thought that was actually really cool um, the other thing is, is if you don't want to use that and you just want to use this for say a um, you know like a briefcase or something along those lines where you don't want the water bottle hanging out of it then you can just strap those all the way down, cinch that up, and really reduce the size of the bag altogether. Just cinch this one down. And now, as you can see, you know, this is just a it's a much more manageable size now. If I just wanted to carry that, you know, back and forth to work or something along those lines. So, like I said, the thing with this bag is versatility. There's just a ton of different ways and configurations that you could use this bag in really everyday life. Anyhow guys, you can go to vanquest.com um, and you can see their, their lineup of their gear. Really appreciate you watching and uh, if you guys like this, please click the thumbs up and share with your friends. All that stuff, I really appreciate it. And you guys stay safe. We'll see you on another video here shortly. Thanks.